Hey guys, Andrew here with Dadverb. We're gonna dive into the Bumble Ride era. Now I wanna note that I am not being paid to make this review. Bumble Ride sent me this stroller to review, but I am not being incentivized here in any way. So just wanna put that out there. There are a lot of great things about the stroller and a few things that I would change, but it all starts with the most intriguing thing here, and that's Bumble Ride's mission for sustainability. Now, all of Bumble Ride's fabrics are made from post-consumer water bottles, and they seek out suppliers uh, that look to save energy, conserve water, and reduce pollution and landfills. You can read more on their site. I'm not gonna go deeper there, but it's certainly a unique mission in the juvenile product industry, and it's one that I love. It's really cool that that's the core of Bumble Ride. Now, do not confuse recycled with rickety because this offers one of the most premium pushes that you'll find and it's because of what's happening down below. Starting from the bottom and working our way up, the four large tires are air filled. It's one of the only strollers with pneumatic tires that I reviewed on this channel. Aside from the speed jogging stroller also made by Bumble Ride, um, the tires paired with individual suspension are what really help make this stroller glide. Now you can feel it when you press down on the stroller, you're holding it, you can feel it kind of bounce a little bit. It is so smooth on uneven sidewalks, gravel paths, grass, muddy soccer fields, cobblestone. The stroller glides over those things and it's truly the best option I've pushed on those types of services. Now that's not to say that like this is the best stroller ever because those situations and, and those types of services that might not matter to you at all but what I am saying is that while air filled tires aren't that common because they're kind of inconvenient, right? You do have to pump them every so often. They do offer the best terrain versatility. Now, in case you do need to fill the tires, it does come with a hand pump that you can use and it stores nicely in a zip pocket near the back of that large basket. The front tires can lock out for added stability during more rigorous activity like jogging or, or hiking on rougher terrain. But that said, if you do plan on jogging more, uh, I would check out the Bumble Ride Indy because uh, while the era can do fine with jogging or whatever, uh, it's better suited for errand running in the city and burbs, uh, general outings, kids sporting events, that kind of stuff. Uh, the Indy, that's a little bit more suited for the jogger. Now, another cool differentiator is how the seat is reversible, allowing you to orient it front or rear facing. So while it's built to take on terrain and more activity, it functions less like a jogger and more like a daily stroller, which is pretty cool. Another thing that the Era has is the modular capability to adapt to car seats via two hot shoe mounts. So the bottom one is gonna be for car seat and bassinet adapters, and the top is gonna be for the main seat that it comes with. Now the fold has some pros and cons. Personally, I'm not a fan of the two-handed folds. After testing a lot of these, I've grown accustomed to just being spoiled and always wanting a one-handed fold. Um, but in addition to not being able to collapse one-handed, this also has two steps. First, you need to engage the levers on either side of the stroller to get that seat down. And then once you do that, you can activate those double triggers on either side of the frame to begin the fold. Also, once folded, you do have to fiddle with the wheels a little bit to get it to self-stand. I'm never able to fluidly go from fold right to standing. I always have to adjust it some, which kind of annoying. But that said, I'm usually annoyed by how bulky strollers are when folded, Kalugo, Silver Cross Comet, right? The era is impressively flat and easy to carry with the built-in handle. Other than the Uppa Baby and Britax strollers, uh, the era really does have my heart for not being so bulky in my trunk or in my home. It does fold flat. The wheels do add that bulk, but they are very easy to pop off. Going back to the seat is another cool feature where it can convert itself to a newborn ready form by untucking the panels hidden under the footrest and then snapping them onto the side, similar to what we saw with the Silver Cross Comet. Very cool bit of versatility there to hold newborns and kids up to 55 pounds. One thing that I'm not a fan of though is just the strap recline system. It works fine, but it can be hard to raise back up when your little is seated. So you need to like coordinate with them a little bit. They're like, hey, like lean forward so I can put the seat back up. I have to say though that the stroller doesn't feel all that heavy. Usually sturdy strollers that can take some terrain uh, are a bit tankier, but uh, this isn't hard to lift out of the car and it pushes and turns with ease. Moving up, the canopy has a magnetic peep window and an extended canopy, but I do think that the coverage could be a little bit better there. Then lastly, the handlebar is made from molded cork, which is naturally waterproof, antimicrobial, and non-toxic. So uh, just another visual cue of Bumble Ride's emphasis on sustainability. So overall, I mean, like I have to be objective here. I have to point out the pros and cons, but honestly, I would give this like a four, 4.5 out of five. Like this is a perfect option for active lifestyles in cities and burbs and handles exceptionally well on difficult terrain.
So that's all I've got for you guys. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video. Come back for the next one. God bless. Later.